welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today what we're going to be doing is... Actually, before we get started, I, d I did notice that there was a another planet. Uh, we forgot to go to it. reason why we didn't go to it is because there was aggressive sentinels. So I quickly probed that. I actually recorded a little bit of doing that uh, already. And then I realized that I didn't have the microphone and sound enabled from yesterday's um, recording. So that was probably uh, for the lore video or something. I, I can't remember what how, maybe the whole audio is messed up on that one, I don't know. But anyhow, uh, we have audio now and that's good. So uh, as I was saying, the plan is to go to a new system today uh, now that we got all the planets discovered and then we can kind of take it from there. Now I was thinking about going to a trading system uh, because we do have a lot of trading items in our freighter, uh, probably more than most of the other ones. And we'll be able to kind of offload this stuff and then we can try to figure out next week or something uh, where <laughs> the high tech, because I totally forgot to do that. I might do that between clips. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see if we can't figure out where these things actually go to because I have Power generation, mining, manufacturing, trading, technology, scientific, and advanced materials. So, I it says high tech, but I'm not sure if that's like technology or if it's um, like advanced materials. It could be either or. So, I don't know. I just kind of, I'm not sure if Wookie actually explained that on a level that would make sense. So I'll see what I can, um, it's industrial. So I'm assuming that, uh, industrial goes somewhere. Uh, I'll have to make a better chart for next season, but something that I can actually reference to, you know, like industrial goes blah, uh, scientific. This obviously goes to trading. So that would make sense, but I don't know, the chart isn't very good. I might even make a blog post or something about it just so it's a little bit easier for me to follow next time. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and go to the freighter warp mode thing. We'll see if we can't find a trading one. At least we know where those are. So I need to go and change galaxy core because we want to go that direction. Conflict level economy. And we're looking for a green star somewhere that is relatively far enough away uh, until our jump drive doesn't go any further. So we'll just keep going this way.
Right, so I've scanned um, all the animals on the planet already. Got these weird looking creatures here, and then there's uh, some couple birds, and there's a few other weird creatures. But, um, yeah, right now I'm just kind of scanning up some of the more common minerals and stuff like that, and uh, any additional plants that I haven't scanned. Might as well get as most of it as possible that we can actually discover. See if we can't get as much as we can before we um, go to a new planet. We got that one. Can get that. There's always one of the ones coming down. I think that's fairly safe to stand here. Yeah, that looks good. I don't want to get too deep in the cave when there's a sentinel around. Uh, let's go up um, on this hill and we'll see if we can't find some rocks. Oh, we didn't get that one yet. Or that one. Or that plant. Or that rock. Okay, let's see if we can't find some more plants. Generally, those go for a lot more. Got that rock. Oh, we didn't get that, though. Got those. Oh. Uh, we need to charge that up. Should really get some ammonia and other things when we go to these planets. Those look really good. I like how there's just like a couple clusters of those plants there. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All right, uh, yeah, we haven't got that plant yet. Let's see if we can't find um, a couple more things. Ah! Okay, I didn't see that. I thought it was further over on the other side of the hill. Well, we got that one. <laughs> okay, those you can't actually scan, which is interesting. Okay, we'll go uh, get this uh, knowledge stone.
Okay, so I got uh, to a finally a ship. So this one is a class C. It's not very exciting, but um, it, it is at least something. <laughs> so we haven't really uh, scrapped a ship for a while, so I thought I would um, put this, some of this stuff into our inventory, and then we'll go ahead and claim up that ship. Uh, we'll probably repair it right here to... Uh, let's see here. Okay, we'll claim this ship. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and quickly repair this. There's also a class uh, S shield thing here too. Repair that up and then scrap the technology or store technology and yeah, that's what I want to do so we can get some tech from that uh, shield we're also going to need to repair that okay, I don't think there's any other tech on it that really matters um, yeah so we got that ship uh, we can fly it out of here we'll drop it off at our um, at the space station and scrap out and I want to report a crash. Let's see what we get from that. Corvax plus one. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and set a waypoint. I'm not sure if this will actually, you know what? It probably will disappear once we go out. So let's. sure if this will work. What do we have on our ship? We have one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one of these down. And we'll come back for a ship. Uh, once we drop off this thing. And um, so we'll probably have a secondary ship with us. So we can pick up the other one from after we drop it off at the uh, space station. So let's head to the space station. We'll scrap this, and then we'll be able to uh, get a little bit of currency from that. I actually want to go to the uh, space station, not my crater. was a little bit hard to control. Generally they are though.
anyhow, guys, I ended up trying to get the um, Sentinel thing. I, uh, long story short, they, they updated and I wanted to see if this ship was powerful enough to destroy an uh, entire Sentinel fleet, and it's not. So, um, I lost the actual freighter. I don't know where it went. So, like the Sentinel one, there's Sentinel freighters now, like capital ships. So, we'll have to, like, definitely upgrade our tech or something so we can, um, get some better stuff. But I'm not sure if we have enough tech that we can actually... Yeah, we don't have much tech slots left. So... Uh, we do definitely need some better weapons, though, so I'm going to upgrade and see how much it's going to cost for... Can we seriously upgrade the class still? I don't think we can. Can we? It says we can. Oh, we're already maxed. All right. So 50 million. Uh, we can... We have quite a few million that we can purchase. Okay, and then we have more that we can do here. Uh, that's going to be 65 million for that. So four slots should do us just fine. Uh, what I'll end up doing is putting it into shields and... Um, yeah, we don't really have much for these weapons either. So maybe we can invest in... We have a good good damage for that, but our um, this is good for taking down the shield, these ones here, but the um, overall damage, it's just generally not that great. So, like, this is great for shield damage. As you can see, it says 22,000, but um, when we get over to here, it, it's not as high for damage. Like... Uh, that does 2,000, this does 4,000, um, this does 3,000, but I want to kind of make this better. So we'll see if we can't um, upgrade that over time. Maybe we'll add something to the system that we can work on, some different mechs or something like that. But uh, we did spend a lot of money already today, so we'll see if we can't get some... Oh, we do have some storage arguments. But anyhow, uh, that's for next episode. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.